He's like, look. That's safe. He's a security risk for sure. I prefer the challenge kills. Give me the challenge all day, every day. I'll rip the faces off those guys instead. I've got to say, it's absolutely incredible. Very typical, as you might say, if you're one of the kids. Uh, but it's absolutely incredible. I'm very excited to find out what's going to happen. You know, can they Red continue the Cinderella story? Can they get into that grand final? Or will Optic have that confidence heading into that final match of their day? If they get into that grand final position, it's going to be very hard to stop them. Let's head on over to our casters right now. We've got Scherzi and Gaskin looking very dapper indeed. Gents, it's over to you. Thanks so much, Lottie. It's Championship Sunday, baby. And I tell you something, such is the occasion, Dan Gaskin has downloaded the voice pack. <laughs> yeah, I'm one step away from Master Chief. I'll get there eventually. But honestly, what an amazing series we have here. Optic Gaming versus Native Red. David versus Goliath. And somehow, Native Red just keep taking down squads. The green wall up against the Game 5 gangsters of yesterday and how they would have loved to close out the tournament with the way they were playing on Saturday. But now playing against the Orlando champions. They've already beaten the rally champions. They've already beaten the Kansas City champions. Why not do it here? On the biggest stage of them all. Against the best team on current form in the world. Game one then. Ladies and gentlemen, it was the Orlando crowd that spurred up the game into victory. Will you do the same here? Or will Native Red crash the party? Shields up, weapons up, we're into this one. What a start this could be as well for Native Red. Their best game type, Strongholds, they have been perfect throughout this tournament. They are three and zero. Optic need to be at their very best. Save me new rockets. BNC in control of Native Red. Not for much longer though. It's Optic Gaming. He's to turn this through. Rockets in hand. APG. A nice and snug over towards C. Two down. Eagle teams. Both teams. Broken Manny, Optic, Formal Matt, and Lucid. But Trippy will join them very shortly. APG is having the quietest start to the game I think I've ever seen. But he has a very important role here with the Rockets over his shoulder. Nobody looking to contest them just yet. Perhaps this is the moment. One Rocket goes in. Manny desperately gets away and succeeds. And now they know the Rockets are there. B is very much off limits until that Rocket is cleared out. Formal puts down cover fire. They continue to score. This standoff is perfect for Optic Gaming. Two rockets have been fired. They haven't found a home. And now this is the opportunity for Native Red to push forward. But Druck has fallen. Tarlik answers back. 3v3 for a moment. But APG makes sure three go down for Native Red. But APG getting hassled and harried. It's going to be four dead for a bit. Drugs comes back up off the respawn and tries to capture C. And even though this may be, you know, a really strong game type for Native Red, it's exactly the same on the other side for Optic Gaming. They are 11 and 1 since Kansas City and Stronghold. They've only ever lost once, and that was to Cloud9. That was Cloud9 at their very best as well. So Optic, no, this is a good start for them in this series. It's not like they're going to be struggling. Good start. Everything's gone according to plan so far. Let's have an astral list named Optic Gaming to see how to navigate things. Wait, 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 so you guys so play towards B, guys. Two guys today. We're looking at yeah, yeah, yeah. B. Play yeah, yeah. B. Play yeah, yeah. B. Play 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 B.
Mini, 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 I'm going to not listening that A and B in control, native red. Having a bit of their own way for some time. But now after gaming, retake control. Three dead for native red. Drunk over towards C. Waiting for his teammates to spawn back up. Rockets are about to pop. ABT's got eyes on the prize. Plasma grenades go down. He's trying to get that combat involved. Perhaps just trying to deny the area. As the whole side steps out. That's a step too far. Drunk comes to. APG puts him away. Could be about to lock in a triple. Manny in a 1v1. APG! Shut down my Manny. You thought it was about to happen as well. You thought APG was about to give him the wiggles. But what a start this has been from Optic Gaming in the winner's bracket finals. Double kill for Lucid as well. They are really setting themselves apart. It's a triple for Lucid. He wants more, but they're not going to show for it. Drux only on one kill at the moment. Drux has been so consistent, Jersey, this tournament. But right now, he's 1 in 10. A triple kill for Lucid. It's a triple cap for Optic Gaming. And they are really cranking up the pressure. Tanade of Red. Bandage up. As they are bleeding points. Manny gets one. They get two now. Optic Gaming give them up. Flights over towards me. APG with the shots. Finds one. Three dead once more. Manny, all four dead for Native Red. And is Optic Gaming just a team? Is it a step too far? I mean, we talk about giants, we talk about being a giant killer. Native Red already taken down Cloud9, for example. They take it down phase. It is Optic Gaming, maybe the biggest giant of the all is APG just about. To Manages to get the trade. Manning, the last remaining player. He also falls in 225 to 38. This, unfortunately for Native Red, is almost impossible to come back from when they're playing in this way, Optic. There is such little mistakes that we're seeing. Absolutely dominating so far. Rockets and five, we might not even need them with the way this game has gone. It's been all one-way traffic from the get-go. And all the kills are going in their favor. And Native Red are four dead. And Optic Gaming, secure game one. Two away from the grand finals. It almost looks too easy for Optic Gaming. Strongholds where we've not seen Native Red lose so far in this tournament finally take their first loss. What does that do to the confidence of those gentlemen on the, your screens there? This is going to be a tough old mountain to climb. It's a very green mountain as well. Optic Gaming, flawless, as we would expect. Native Red, they need an answer here in game number two. And looking at the series layout when we loaded it, I was quietly confident in Native Red. Because of the three objective game types that were in this best of five in scrims recently, Native Red had won two of them. As we know in the Slayer Aquarius, that was one thing these teams didn't do only a week ago with Scrim Slayers. Is this the opportunity for Native Red to get right back into this? Well, they've already taken a Slayer off Optic Gaming this tournament. So yes, this is going to be their best chance. But it has to happen now, I feel, Jersey. Otherwise, imagine if you go 2-0 down against an Optic Gaming this confident in themselves. Aquarius Slayer, a solid game for both of these two teams. Very consistent throughout this entire tournament from these two teams. But if Native Red go five, six kills down here against an Optic Gaming who have not let up, you start to fear about where this series could go. Players have been an Achilles heel for Optic Gaming. No better opportunity for Soul Snipe and the boys to bounce back here at one man that needs to do just that. After a disappointing performance in game one, is Druk. He's got the Optic Gaming skin on. Green and white colors, perhaps. Looking for rubber the green. Three kills to one. This is going for Native Red. Getting the better of the early engagements. They've got the camouflage. 
Manny scoops it up and disappears with it into the night. Neither scooped up. Back whack. In the trip, he had no idea he was there. Native Red certainly have showed that they can come back into series, can come back into games. Look at the reverse sweep they had against Cloud9. Manny trying to stay alive at the moment. Needs help, does get the help. It's 8-5, Native Red, this is a perfect start for them. You have to at least demonstrate you can compete. And I think we've learned that all tournament long, that Native Red are the real deal. And this man on your screen is one of the reasons why. Tolik, his slaying capability, his BR ability has been unreal. I'll tell you what, you put a commando there, doesn't matter. BR, commando, it's all the same. He's going to get those kills. 12 kills to 8 Shots ring out across the map. Tolik tries to help his teammates by backing down Lucid. Does so successfully, and 42 of Native Red are dead. Tolik looking to just anchor this base. Now moving out with his teammate fresh off the spot. Moving over towards the heat wave. Not gonna be up though. Which can only mean it's elsewhere in the hands of somebody that can really put it to use and crank up the heat. Manny fires shots, backs down APG. Didn't do much damage, but it was enough. Major Orlando champion, think twice. Camouflage. It's gonna be an influence here, as it so often is. APG already sit, sort of situated top middle. It's in prime position, but Tarek goes to stop that. Oh, wow. And does. We're all tied up then. Druk gets the wiggles from Lucid. Killing spree. And he has really stepped up his game over the last couple of days. Lucid's been incredible. From pool play to bracket play, he turned into the Lucid that we know. It was an okay day in pool play, but bracket play, he became the beast that we all know and love. The Native Red need to shut him down. They cannot allow Lucid to kind of get into that same form today as formal will fall. I'm going to be looking at Druk. I'm going to be looking at Manny. Those are the two guys in Slayers who have stepped up for Native Red. They've been the difference makers throughout this tournament. Druk had a very slow game number one. Has to be better here in game two. It was a hot start for Native Red. Some of the steam seems to have left as we've headed towards the mid game here. Let's have an astro listen in with Native Red to see how they're getting on with things. Yeah, I'm playing Peter 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 I'm it's the both weeks, shoot both weeks, shoot that. Okay, back flag. I believe you guys. And this one RP, this one RP is one RP. Two flags, two flags. Yeah, I got a gun in. Watch out. I got a gun in. 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 I got a That is four players who know each other inside and out. Native Red, the call outs, a lot of kind of one shot here, two shot there, but you've got to imagine they know where they're pushing, they know where they need to push. A big double from Soul Snipe. Maybe he could be the one to lead the charge here for Native Red to get them back into this game, back into this series. It's 35 to 34. Native Red have come back from an eight kill deficit here to put us within two. And a perfect kill and a killing spree. And you can see who's been at the center of it, who's been driving the team forward. It's Soul Snipe with 10 kills and eight deaths. 
He's really picked it up in this Slayer now. We're all tied up. Camouflage. It'll be up in the next 25 seconds. And it could really be the one that dictates who's going to win this game. Native Red, they're quite scattered at the moment, but they might actually be able to catch Lucid off guard. If they can take a lead, if they can pin Optic back into a base, this is very winnable, very achievable for Native Red. It's exactly what they were able to do in the previous series when they won a Slayer against Optic just in pool play. And we've been speaking about it all tournament long. Native Red, they just need that belief. As soon as they beat Cloud9, they knew they could beat these teams. Oh. And they know they can beat Optic in a Slayer. Soul Snipe gets a killing spree. Tarlik has now got a killing spree. And you can see it's helped the cars no end. They've taken the lead against the Orlando champions. They're ahead by two now. As we head towards the curtain of this Slayer, Trippy tries to get away. Formal will help combine to get the kill. And now Tarlik over towards the lockers in the closet area. Camo's up. And you can see he wants desperately to get his hands on it. And at the same time, keeping it out of arm's reach of the green wall. Two kills then is all that's required for Native Red now. Camouflage still up for grabs. Who's going to be brave enough? Native Red need one. The tie us up here. Will it be Manny? It won't. Soul Snipe playing this one careful. Talix in an engagement across the map. And slow us down to a crawl. Yeah, Optic want to slow this one down. They want to maybe keep their eyes on the camouflage. See if they can bait it a little bit. Tolik is not going to play into it. Soul Snipe goes down. 49 48. Hold on a second then. It's not over yet. Camouflage on the end of a hook. Optic trying to reel Native Red in. Trippy steps out. Has he overextended? Here comes two members of Native Red. Drug down to no shields. Has to back away. Oh, Nate! Nate! Oh, Nate! Nate! goes down! Formal gets the grenade! And Optic Gaming snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And they double their series lead. That is a confidence killer. 49-47, you throw it away. But it's Optic Gaming do what Optic Gaming always does. They find a way, Shirts. They slow it down, they bait. And the grenades, absolute perfection. Trippy comes in, he assesses the area and says, all right, we've got two here on the radar. Of course, not the actual radar. Gives that information, the nades get banked off the right corners. And Native Red just explode and Optic Gaming. Wow, what a comeback we've just seen. They are on a warpath right now. You speak about radars. And it was a human UAV that got the final kill. All that experience from Formal. They knew to slow the game down. They baited, they twisted and they turned. And they manipulated Native Red into exactly where they wanted them. A nail biter. And up next, King of the Hill recharge. We're not slowing down here. I do think this is good news, though, for Native Red. This is statistically Optic Gaming's worst game type from Orlando. It's a great chance for Native Red to get back into this series. But at the same time, I feel like I've said that all tournament long, right? Yeah, this is, you know, one of Optic's worst game types. They've only lost 12 maps since Kansas City at Majors. Six of them were Slayers, mine, but a couple of them were Recharge King of the Hill. Native Red need to get the job done now, or else they'll be down in that elimination bracket. And as for Optic Gaming, they are one step away from the Grand Finals. Last time these two matched up, Native Red won 3-2 in scrims. Can they match that beat here? On the biggest stage of them all, in Seattle. World Championships on the line. Formal steps to the hill, he has the camouflage. Clambers up. We've seen these moves before. This was where Royal 2 shut him down. He's got the shock rifle! And he's making the plays. 
He doesn't have to worry about Royal 2 anymore. Sentinel's eliminated from the tournament just prior to this series. In Optic Gaming, they've got their sights set on one thing, and that is a world championship. And former one of the greatest FPS players of all time. Multiple world Whoa! championships across multiple games. He wants to do it once more. Soul Snipe on double stack. That former misses one. Takes in the battle rifle, gets himself into a little bit of a skirmish. Very quickly gets himself right back out of there. Challenges Paula gets the kill. The movement's on point, all four dead for Native Red. Optic Gaming are absolutely steamrolling right now. Who can stop the green wall? Soul Snipe drunk, yet to register a kill. It's like target practice at the moment for Formal. Everywhere he looks, there's a head he can connect with. And already off to get set up for this next hill. Camo's up in 25. Native desperately trying to get around so they can push through long haul. That's the easiest way to try and target this hill. But Formal's patrolling. He's rolling. And now it's a three versus two on this map. Trades. Good enough for now. Lucid has control of the long haul hill. Two dead for Native Red. Shock rifle transfers hands. So trippy. As does the camouflage to help of the grapple. Pops into his chest now. Tonic, top bot ledge! Not anymore, you're not! Soul Snipe! Lined up. That will win. Drop down the no shields. Trippy. Puts him away. Killing spree. Soul Snipe keeps challenging. Baiting out Trippy. Eventually, they take him down. But they're a sliver away from securing the second hill. This has got to be perfect from Native Red. Native Red can do it, though. We've seen it before. This is a hill where you can't hold for that long. You've just got to have that set up. At the moment, they are setting up over towards gold. So that's going to leave blue open. Optic going to take advantage of that. Formal falls first. Actually, two have gone down. So at the first test, Native Red, they've passed it. But APG looking to try and disrupt ever so slightly. Needs to wait for spawners, though. As Optic, if they start rushing this, they get a little bit too antsy, they may give this point away. This is perfect for Native Red. They're holding the line. Karlik jumping up and down. They've given up. Trying to get as much information as he can, that's better. Native Red back into this one then. What can Soul Snipe do? Optic Gaming have set up towards the elevator now. Trippy backed away, top catwalk, tries to scamper away. Not today, Drug soars in. Formal in the sights. Sticky grenade goes down. It's going to be a trade. Drugs in the battle for his life here. And he loses. Camouflage. They'll be playing soon. But Native Red's got two picks here. Trippy steps in. Will eliminate Soul Snipe. Can he get Manny? Gives him the wiggles. But Manny stands strong. Had to stand strong. Cannot afford to die there otherwise. You are leaving your team in such a desperate situation to try and wrestle back control. It was Trippy. Trippy was the MVP of this series when they last played in full play. A 1.44 KD, he was playing Unreal. He's been playing Unreal all tournament. And now he's got a camouflage to work with. And we've already seen what Trippy and a camouflage can do on recharge this tournament. After gaming, it put to the test here. No doubt the comms are as frantic as ever before. Let's have an actual listen in to find out. Okay, slow down, reset. Right, yeah. Hills, Hills moving. Oh, no, no, no. We're all good here. Down by one. Yeah, they're going to have a shot. Sorry, absolute. Alright, last guy. Sitting there, sitting there, sword. Going in. And no one shot. No one shot. Both shot now. Alright, listen guys. Make sure we're really efficient with our kills here, okay? Yeah, 100%. And I'm thinking on top of it. One more, one more, one more. Two guys, two guys, two guys. Three guys, two guys. There might be three there. There's still two C5. There's still C5. There's still C5. I'm here. I'm here. They might have backed down. They might have went just repulse. Yeah, it's too long. It's sticky. Yeah, we got to get him out of the hill. Come on, come on. Keep watching Tommy. 
During that distance, we've seen a massive triple kill from Truck. The overkill just evaded them. If you keep this hill alive, Steven Stevens on this fourth hill. Native Red have control, but it's not comfortable. That much is for sure. Trippy drops down to his death. Momo backs away, gives it up. Here comes the push, Tolik. Steam rolls in, camouflage. We'll cloak him. APG gets handled. There's three members of Optic Gaming and Tolik's vision. Can he take down Formal and Grenade? Doesn't hit as hard as he needed it to. Two dead for Native Red. Trippy backs away. But Manny's hunting him down. And we heard in the listening, Optic saying, let's be efficient with our kills. Get them at the right time, not just kind of pointless kills that aren't going to achieve anything, aren't going to achieve a setup. Oh. Soul Snipe cannot out be our formal. Not many people on this earth can. It's 2-1 at the moment. Native Red still hold the lead, but Tolik, the last remaining player, will just about keep the hopes alive for Native Red of getting this point. But in the moment, Optic, they're holding strong. Native Red hold the lead. This is me. Put away now, yes indeed it is. We're all tied up. All square. Three minutes left on the clock. It could very easily be next cap wins. As we move over towards Whirlpool, Trippy trying to get that kill but stops and drops. Thinks twice about it. Soul Snipe drops oh. down. Absolutely fried. There was the stop, the drop, and that was the roll with the commando. It is Native Red who control this once more. Very difficult hill to try and manage, but Manny watching the right areas. Grenades on point. Camo's going to be up in five. Optic can play around a little bit here. They've got a little bit of wiggle room. We've got plenty of time on the clock. Often in Recharge King of the Hill, it can go down to this hill for the final hill. But I think that it's okay. We're probably going to see it go to four here. Oh, they got Camo. They have all of the greens they need to secure this hill. That's going to help get the pick on the losing. The approach 40% progress on this fifth hill. Tolik's gone down though. Trippy tries to get drunk. He's down to no shields and Soul Snipes on hand to put him away. Two members set up in Whirlpool. Soul Snipe overlooks it, tries to keep his boys safe. APG's already made it across mid bridge. Not spotted this time by Soul Snipe. The information will come late. And a trade will be the result of it. Trippy stepped into the hill. And he stepped out just as quick to clear out back elevator, and he's done so successfully with the help of a teammate. One thing I will say, Native Red do not look nervous at all, despite the fact they are 2 0 down against Optic Gaming. They still look comfortable in their way of play. Tolik still looks incredible, 18 kills at the moment. And they are so close to getting this third hill and taking an advantage here. But now here comes the Optic setup. So, Native, you've got a good amount of scoring, right? How do you break the green wall right now? Three members over the tower side, soul, save, soul snipe. And Manny, with the help of the disruptor, will shoot the pad and eliminate Lucid from the hill. And Trippy answers back onto Manny. And oh. to Soul Snipe! It's fitting that his soul should be sniped. Trippy now, top pipes. Drug still using that disruptor, still being an absolute nuisance. A scallywag, a scoundrel. Not the gaming have made real progress on this hill. Native Red need to ensure they don't give this one away. Soul Snipe down with the no shield, but we'll get the trade. Camo's up. Good chance now for one of these teams to kind of grab it. Maybe sneak away a little bit. You could make a huge play, but Manny actually doesn't need the camouflage to be sneaky. It's a great angle to stop off from scoring. Man, he's so good at getting those effective kills, but Optic, skill scoring, will get the third point, take the lead. Optic Gaming on match point, on series point then. What have Native Red got left in the chamber?
What's in the tank? You're playing against some of the best in the world. The optic chance. Ring out. Two dead then. Manny has camouflage. He has the opportunity. It's not over yet. This is where we learn a lot about the mindset of Native Red, of how far they genuinely believe they can get in this tournament. Do they see themselves as contenders? Are they going to throw everything at this game? Or are they more than happy to have a little scrap down in the elimination bracket final? From what we've seen so far, I think we all know what Native Red are capable of. Right now, 1 minute 25 left. You've got to make big plays. You've got to be brave with your calls. And Manny, holding on strong, scoring so much right now. Manny back on the team, He's back with his boys. Guiding them to their best ever finish. They are top three, no matter what happens today. But is that to be the sum of their ambitions? Have they got more in them? They've exceeded all expectations. They threatened to do this all year long. But have Optic Gaming just got too much for them here. They've made real progress to tie this game up. But there's a minute left on the clock. And Formal gets one. But he falls. I just don't think Optic are particularly comfortable at the moment trying to set up around the hill. And it's allowing Native Red to really dictate the pace of play. Manny, though, oh. does manage to get the kill to Trippy. And Druck still scoring. Native Red so close now to tying up this game. Even the Manarum's length, Palusa drops in. Soul Swipe tries to put the finishing touches on this hill. 1v1 with APG, but Trippy drops again. It's careful now. They don't desperate this hill. 40 seconds remaining. They need to step a toe in. Manny falls. It's a full rotate through long haul. Optic Gaming prioritizing playing Slayer. They know Drunk. they're in big trouble. Drugs going to prioritize getting kills instead of the hill. And with 16 seconds remaining, Drugs still getting kills. But he's nowhere near the hill. They need to get in there now. Two members down. Drugs the last man alive. And he's nowhere near the hill. Completely isolated. All alone. Still looking for kills. Nowhere near the hill. And off the gaming. With triple kills from APG. Secure the clean sweep. Flawless. Fatality. They put Native Red to the sword. Optic Gaming proved yet again why they are the ones to beat in Seattle. One step closer to the Halo World Championship and now a series advantage in the Grand Final, whoever ends up playing them. Incredible execution. Native Red, a sliver away, Shurs. And similarly to what we saw in game number two, so close yet so far, Optic just have the perfect strategy implemented at the perfect time. They force back the entirety of Native Red. They make Druck make plays out of blue. And Druck suddenly says, oh crap, I need to get to the hill, guys. And Optic Gaming, they find themselves in a grand final once more. Then that last moment, the call had to have been made. The rest of the teammates were going to prioritize the hill and Druck was going to get the slays. And when his teammates fell around him, Looked as though he wanted to take out a phone and call an Uber to get to that hill. But it wasn't going to come. He wasn't quick enough. And Optic Gaming compared with Halo. Every single time they're on our screens, they impress me more. And they really do have their eyes set on that World Championship. 3-0 against Native Red. The Native Red that's been destroying every giant that's come in their way so far. But unfortunately, their run comes to an end in the winner's bracket.